Hello, I'm Claire Helmer. As a caterer in the West Country, I've been asked many times to um, teach people how to make a pasty, a Cornish pasty, although we live in Devon. So this is what I'm going to do for you today. So to start with, we're going to make the uh, pastry and we've got um, 250 grams of flour in, in uh, the bowl, um, which I weighed out before, and we put in half a packet of butter a tiny little bit of salt and um, 50 mils of water. So I'm going to combine that together and then we're going to rest it in the fridge while we cut up the meat and vegetables and get that preparation done. Usually we do um, a much larger quantity but uh, today we're keeping it small because I'm going to basically make it um, by hand, not in a magic mix because a lot of people won't have a magic mix. Uh, so you just cut up the lumps of butter, just a little bit to, to help you in the beginning. Add a little tiny little, little bit of salt, just to, to bring out the flavour. And then with your hand, you the rest of that. You make it like breadcrumbs. You squeeze the butter between your fingers in with the flour until it resembles breadcrumbs and if you bring it, your hands up high it puts air in and makes the pastry nice and light. So when, when you've finished this is, this is what it should look like, nice and light. And then we add in 50 mils of water. So one tablespoon is 20, so it's two and a half tablespoons. And then you combine it together should come together quite nicely. When you're making pastry the butter should always be cold and so should the water. It doesn't do to have it warm. And um, so there we are, it's all nicely come together. And we're just going to wrap it with a bit of cling film actually and put it in the fridge. Um, it likes to rest for a little bit. Now I've put the pastry in the fridge to chill it while we're going to cut up the meat and the vegetables. Uh, to start with um, the meat we're just going to do 300 grams of skirt which is a piece of beef. Okay and um, the way you cut it is across the grain. We're going to cut it up into small cubes. Um, trim any little bits of fat off it that you don't want. Um, I usually cut it through like that. The reason they use skirt is it, it's a very lean piece of meat. It doesn't have any gristle or anything in it. Um, and you cut it up small. And you just turn them around and cut it the other way around into little cubes. Some people use mince, but that's not not really the right way to make them. Okay, so there we are. So we've done the meat now and that was 300 grams and the vegetables need to be about the same quantity in weight together. Okay, so we've got um, potatoes, swede and onion and um, the weight of them equals to the, to the meat and you cut them up small. So uniform little cubes and the same with the potato. Right, we're now going to mix all the meat, so we'll put the swede in the bowl, uh, potatoes and onions and the meat into the bowl. Um, so it's about equal quantity. And uh, we've got a, an ounce and a half of butter, which we're softening there. A level dessert spoon of bisto. That helps to thicken any of the juices coming out of the meat. Um, a little bit of mixed herb, just a tiny bit. You don't want it tasting herby. And, and then plenty of salt. The thing that makes the pasta, uh, pepper, the thing that makes the, the pasty taste good is plenty of pepper. You want to... Okay, so that's that. And then you add... 
this melted butter and that just gives all the vegetables and everything a bit of coating. So we're going to tip that in and then with your hand just stir it all up. The butter goes solid but it sticks to everything. And so that's what it looks like combined and we're all ready to pop it in a pastry. So now we're going to roll the pastry out, so we'll get that from the fridge. And it's, it's chilled, um, so you just put a little bit of flour out. And you've got a bit of flour on your rolling pan. Slightly knead it just to get the edges softened. And then we're, we're, we're going to cut uh, two discs. So we're just rolling this to make, we could make three, but I'm just going to do two here today. Thickness needs to be about less than half a centimetre. And so we're just going to cut this out. So this 20 centimetres is, is um, what you call an average size pasty. Um, pasties were came about in Cornwall for the working man that went down into the tin mines so that they could take their lunch with them and um, they used to be with a, a great big crust around them but I do them with the crust on the top so we're now just going to use um, brush them with a bit of egg and milk around the outside and then we're going to fill fill up the middle okay so what you do is you you want to have plenty of mixture in it only just meets at the top and you want to you can probably end up putting a little bit more into it you want to have them fairly crammed full and squeeze the edges and put a little bit more in the end there and squeeze them up like that and then you hold two fingers and one and you just press against each other but also going downwards to crimp the edge so we pop those in the oven, a hot oven, at uh, two, between 200 and 220 degrees. If it's a fan oven, um, probably 200 is enough. And cook them for about 45 minutes and um, until they're nice and brown and crispy on the bottom. And uh, here are some that we did earlier. That's what they should look like in the end.